Hello, it is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. I'm back here for Daily Shakeup number 541. I think that's right, 541. Today, I want to talk about what's pictured behind me. And I have to tell you, until last week, I didn't know what it was called. I thought it was just the swinging balls thing. And it's actually called Newton's Cradle, Newton's Cradle. And obviously based upon Isaac Newton and laws of various laws of physics that are demonstrated by it. And if you remember the process, if you take one ball on one end and hit it, the, the power or the energy from the one ball transfers through the other balls and the ball on the other end will go. And then they keep going that way until they lose energy. And similarly, if you use two balls, then two balls will swing. It's pretty quite amazing and simple. But what does it mean for us in life, leadership, and business? Well, I was talking recently, last week, which has made me think about to this, um, about the idea of facilitation. We've all heard about people who are facilitators. And I got to be honest, in the speaking and training and facilitation world, people need to understand there's a big difference between being a speaker, a trainer, and a facilitator. And a facilitator is very different. And I have found that there are very few really good facilitators because it's a unique skill and mindset and gift set. And I've also know that one of my friends a couple of years ago, I had asked him, you know, what's the most important element of leadership? And he said, facilitation, the ability to be a facilitator, because being a facilitator means you make things easier. You clear the road, you make things run um, more smoothly and ultimately create kind of a flow. And I would argue a rhythm. And while there's a rhythm to these balls back and forth, there's also a reality of this flow of energy and how easily that energy can be impeded. And instead of being a facilitator, we become a resistor, even if we didn't intend it, because we're blocking or impeding in some way that flow of energy. So just picture the cradle and picture me having this ball out here. And when I let go, right, I'm going to immediately this ball over here is going to swing out just like it's supposed to. However, I now want you to imagine that I swing the ball out over here. I pull it out, swing it out, and I'm holding on to one of these balls here in the middle. Well, I can assure you what will happen. Either this other ball over here will not move at all, or it'll move a lot, for, not nearly as far as it could have if it hadn't been impeded or resisted. Now, this does not mean that we don't ask questions. We sometimes think that uh, facilitation means we always say yes to everything. No, but we have a yes mindset, and we're looking for ways to move the process along and continue to build on a flow so we can have a rhythm. See, what I've realized is there will always be enough people to get things started. The problem is if we don't get our processes and systems right, if we don't get our culture right, if we don't get our, our thinking right and our perspectives and our mindset right, we end up blocking the flow and we don't get momentum, we don't get flow, we don't get rhythm. So the question is, will you be a starter? I hope so. But more importantly, take a look at yourself. Are you going to be a facilitator or a resistor? And are we going to find enough people to facilitate so that we can really keep the flow of things moving, whether it's a project, some uh, specific initiative, or even an entire organization. So think about that. Think about Newton's cradle, the flow of energy, and are you a facilitator or a resistor? And you might be in well-intended, but in practice showing up as a resistor. That's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. By all means, stay connected.